Hello Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. I'm Mary Sue, I'm so grateful that you're here. I'll be doing your weekly reading for the week of May 17th. We'll be taking a look at the overall energies with the Oracle cards and then getting into the details with the Tarot. And remember that this is a general reading, so if the message doesn't resonate with you, you might wanna check out your moon, rising, or Venus signs because there might be a message there for you. And as always, if you like the content that I'm creating, please like, share, or subscribe. It really helps to build my channel and get my message of light and love out to the world. Okay, so let's see what you have in store for you. Infinite abundance. Abundance is pouring into your life. Well, Sagittarius, congratulations. Really nice energy. So the abundance, that can mean in love, in money, in joy, in free time. Um, you know, just um, maybe, you know, traveling, whatever it is that you're looking to have more of in your life. It's on its way. It's on its way. And, you know, um, I love this card because if you look, they have kind of like, you know, um, I don't know, kind of like a, a blanket or a sheet there. And they're harvesting, right? Um, and it's they're harvesting. It looks like apples in this. And so the abundance is coming after a period of a lot of work, right? So... Um, although this is a true blessing and you're excited to have it and everything, I do realize that you have worked hard in order for this abundance to come into your life. So really nice. I also like the fact that, you know, it's something that they're all working together on. Um, so I'm getting that message. Maybe you've been working with others um, for this abundance to come in or this blessing loss. Okay. So you have had to sacrifice something in order for this to come in. And, you know, that could be in the form of anything, you know, sometimes you lose a job, but then, you know, you get a, a different job, right? Um, or, you know, you lose out on a home that you thought, you know, you put a contract on, but then something falls through and then you have to go try to find another house. The thing with loss though, is that as sad as it is and disappointing, sometimes those things happen because the universe knows there's something better for us. And so you may be feeling like, okay, I lost something that I really wanted, or, you know, maybe a relationship ended or you, you know, lost your job or, you know, it could be any kind of thing that you, you know, you've had some loss in your life. And now all of a sudden you're going to understand maybe at a, a higher level about why that had to go. It had to go so that you could make room for something that really is going to be even better for you. Um, so let's see what else we have here. The power of purpose. Yeah, you're going to understand why you had to lose whatever it was that you lost. Um, and that doesn't always make the loss not a sad thing, right? We can, we definitely can still feel very sad about losing whatever it is that we've lost. Um, but you're going to very shortly see that there was a reason why it had to go. There's something better on the way for you. So let's see what else we have. Yin. Yeah, this is you just, you know, being in your feminine energy, allowing, allowing this to come in. Really nice energy. Um, this means that you've already kind of like done the work. Whatever it is that you've had to do, you've done the work. Like you're, you're getting this blessing because you have done the work. Really nice energy. You've gone within with the yin, you know, You've gone within, you've maybe, you know, had this loss and then you were spending time nurturing yourself, trying to find your purpose, finding the purpose of the situation. So let's see with the tarot, what we have. Your center of, oh, this is nice. The center of your reading is the Ace of Cups. This is, you know, a lot of times you just coming into that, love for yourself, love for what is around you, being grateful. Um, but it can also be a new love um, 
coming in, a new relationship, but it can also just be a love, an offer of love from the universe. And especially with this infinite abundance, it's like a blessing. Like you've been through a lot and now the universe is rewarding you because you've done the work. Page of Cups. So, you know, this is in your opportunity. Page of Cups, there's, you know, an uh, there is a page of cups is sometimes like an apology, something, you know, somebody could be reaching out to you, you know, some type of communication about, you know, something that went down in the past and what's crossing you is the wheel. You're having a hard time getting the wheel to move, but with this infinite abundance, right? The wheel of fortune is getting ready to turn in your direction. So we'll see what's, what's blocking this wheel from turning because you have some great, you know, energy here. You do have some great energy. So below you is the two of pentacles. You may be juggling a lot. You may be kind of like um, in that in-between kind of world, still concentrating on what it is that you lost and still looking forward to the future, you know. Um, it, so it could be that you just need to step a little bit more into the positive about the future and not spend quite as much energy on thinking about what happened in the past. Oh, so what's above you is 10 of Pentacles. Really nice energy. You want something that's going to go the distance. Um, you know, this could have been a romantic relationship that you thought was going to go the distance and then, you know, something happened. But you do have love coming in. So that's really nice. In the past, you have Page of Pentacles. This was an offer. Um, you got some type of an offer. You have two pages here. So you are kind of like, it's like you really are trying to start something new. You're having a hard time with the wheel. Page of Pentacles. Okay. So let's see, what's the near future? Four cups. Yeah, it's like this offer that's coming in wasn't what you really wanted. And because you have the Ten of Pentacles above you, um, I think that, you know, this offer could have been, you know, like if it was a romantic situation, maybe the offer was, to take your relationship to the next level. Like maybe let's move in together. But what you really wanted was a, like a marriage or a long-term commitment of some sort. You wanted it to go all the way. And this page of pentacles might've been a nice offer, but it definitely wasn't the offer that you wanted. Um, if it's a career, if you're kind of thinking resonating with a career here, it could have been that you got an offer for a job, but there's not, it's not everything that you wanted. Maybe you would have to move to a new location or, or maybe, you know, uh, you were going to have to work late nights or something like that. Like it, the money was good, but you know, the hours were really bad because you're sitting here kind of like in this ho-hum kind of energy, like, yeah, well, thanks, but that's not really what I wanted, right? It's not the whole enchilada. <laughs> and so, you know, I think that that's where this lost card is coming from. It's not necessarily that you completely lost something. It's just that the offers on the table are just not what you want. You want something bigger. You definitely want something bigger. So let's see what your energy is right now. Nine of Swords, yeah, you're kind of worried about it. Like, you know, you've been trying to manifest this for a long time with this yin energy. You know, you may have been thinking, dreaming about this for a long time. And with this infinite, you know, abundance, I still get the idea that you've been working on something for a long time and it just doesn't seem to be happening okay now i have to tell you it looks like it is gonna happen right but right now you're feeling like is this wheel ever going to turn is this abundance ever going to come in right i've been working at building this business for a very long time I'm getting some money coming in, but it's not what I really wanted. When is the wheel going to turn? When is this abundance going to come in? Or, you know, maybe 
you're just, you know, you're, you're single, but you've been dating and, you know, you're getting offers for dates, but nobody is like really connecting, right? It's kind of like, okay, you know, it's not like everything is bad, but it's like, I'm ready for something really good. Yeah, so your environment is a star. You are in this environment where you can shine your light. Um, you're just, I, I think you're kind of a little bit, I keep getting drawn back to this. You're kind of like, still kind of like looking at the, you're, it, it, instead of concentrating on what's really good in front of you, you're kind of concentrating on what you don't have that you want. If that makes sense, right? And kind of, you know, bringing down your vibration a little bit. So it's like just kind of trying to step into your envi vibration a little bit, raising your positive attitude. Like, I know this is coming in, right? Like just step into it, own it. Okay, so you have the hanged man in the hopes and fears. So you've been waiting a long time. And I think, you know, that's both your hope and your fear. You're like, okay, I've been waiting a long time. It has to happen soon. And yet at the same time, you're like, is it ever going to happen, right? So the outcome is the moon. Okay, this is divine timing. This is the universe telling you, hey, we know it's going to happen. We know it's going to happen. <laughs> Look at what you have on the bottom. You have the king of cups. How nice is that, right? Um, yeah, you have the king of cups on the bottom. So you have love coming your way. Six of Cups, this could be somebody coming back from the past. Oh my God. Okay, yeah, this is a good chance that this is a reconciliation for some of you or, wow, okay, it just keeps getting better. Um, for some of you, I do think that this could be somebody from the past that may have given you an offer, right? But it wasn't quite the offer that you really wanted. And they're going to come back with this Page of Cups and they're sweetening the deal. Okay, so they had a solid offer before, but now they're kind of sweetening the deal, right? They're they're saying they're adding a little love to the to it, and they're also apologizing, right? In fact, they're coming in as a king, right? Before, you know, they were acting like a page, but now they're stepping into their king energy, um, and with the six of cups. That's a indication that it's somebody from the past, but look at this. Here you are, the empress, right? You know you are worthy of a king of cups, of somebody that's willing to show their emotions and truly love you deeply, right? Um, so this is a nice power couple here. And with the judgment card, once again, these two cards are reconciliation cards. And for some of you that may not resonate, but for many of you, this is somebody from the past coming back and really spilling their guts about how much they love you because you have the two of cups here. It's a soulmate connection. They've really realized that. And look at this. They're taking the action. Like, I think you've been waiting. You've been holding back right? You have the four cups energy. You're like, I'm just sitting here. I'm waiting. And you have the hanged man. You've just been hanging out, right? Waiting for the, the light to shine, right? And yeah, they're coming in. They're bringing in their love. Really nice energy. Oh, Sagittarius. Really nice. So I do think that for some of you, you know, this... This loss is really just the fact that you didn't get the offer that you really wanted. Um, and with the power of purpose here, I feel like you're going to understand why this had to happen. With the hanged man, you gained a lot of wisdom about yourself, about this relationship, about what it is that you really want. So really nice. Okay, so let's clarify with this middle section. Oh my gosh. Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so you have um, with your Ace of Cups, your Page of Cups, your Knight of Cups, <laughs> you also have the Ten of Pentacles again. Somebody coming in to go the distance. They, It's not short term. They're like, wow, okay, I see it now. I want Sagittarius. I am doing this. I'm going the long distance. And look at this, you have the lover's card. Okay, so it's a true soulmate that's going to go the distance and end this kind of like, I think that they are feeling as hurt as you are right now. I think you're both hurting. 
Um, and, you know, this is just going to be a lovely, lovely reconnection. So let's look at the Two of Pentacles, the Empress, the Four of Wands, and the Hierophant. Oh my gosh. And the Fool card on the bottom. Okay, so Sagittarius, you it's your decision. The decision lies with you. And we have the Judgment card here. We have, you know, the Six of Cups. This person is going to come back. Look at this. We have the Hierophant and the Four of the Wands. These are the two wedding cards, right? So it's a long-term commitment. If you don't want a wedding, it's just whatever it is that you want out of a relationship. And here you are, you're in your Empress energy, right? This is you stepping into the, choosing what it is that you want out of love and a long-term relationship. And you know, the, the Four of Wands is also the happy home you know, like building a strong foundation, knowing that this situation will go the distance. And with the fool on the bottom, I really feel like for some of you, this is when this person comes back from the past, it's because it's going to be a new type of relationship. It's not going to be the way that it was in the past. Yeah, and you have the temperance, the world card, seven pentacles and eight of pentacles. They're going to be willing to work on it. They're willing to step into a new world. They see things in a different light. So let's look at this knight of uh, the nine of swords and see what we have here. <clears throat> Four of swords, knight of cups, queen of cups. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, you're just wanting it to be a balanced relationship. You're, you're, you know, the one thing that you may be concerned about is this person. You're showing up as the Queen of Cups and they're as the Knight of Cups. They could be somebody that's younger than you or not as experienced as you maybe, you know, in, um, in love, but not just in love and just in life. Like you may have you may have seen and done a lot, you know, through your career or whatever. You may have traveled a lot. You may have, you know, had a lot of experiences that this person hasn't. And it could be one of the things that you're kind of worried about, you know, like, do they have everything that I need for them to have? But over here, they turn up as the king of cups. So I think you're a worried that they're just a knight of cups, but they're willing to do the work to be the king of cups. And there you have, you have the, the, the court, you know, the, the court couple, the queen of cups and the king of cups. So it's really nice. Plus you have the empress energy and with the four swords, you're healing this connection. You're healing whatever it is that may have, you know, it may be one of the reasons why you um you know you separated for a while is because you were concerned that they they w didn't have the experience that you had you know or vice versa maybe you felt like you didn't have the experience so yes you can switch you know those around so with the star you have the judgment the tower the two of swords and the two of wands this is a big decision and the decision that you make is going to help you it's going to help you shine your light and to heal and it is with the tower card it's going to happen suddenly like this person is going to come back very suddenly and say hey i need a decision I, uh, this is what i want to do are you on this path with me or not and it's going to take you completely by surprise like you're just not even uh, you're <laughs> it's like not even on your radar right now well, now it is because <laughs> you've seen this reading. Okay, so let's look at the Four of Cups. Let's see what we have here for the future. Queen of Wands, Page of Wands, Six of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. You're putting the pain down. You're ready to move on. And with the all this wand energy, the passion is reignited. You know, you're you're. it's going to be more balanced. You're going to get that... Um, you know, the passion back, whereas the four of, wa the four of cups is kind of like that, Meh, my life's fine. And now it's going to, yeah, my life is good. I'm stepping back into my queen of wands energy, right? I'm confident. I'm ready to go out. I'm ready to, you know, see the world again. 
All right, the hanged man, you have the wheel of fortune, eight of swords and the sun, nice. With the emperor on the bottom. So we have the emperor and the empress on the table. Really a true soulmate connection. Yeah, you're, you're, you're just wondering like, when is this wheel going to turn? And when is this abundance coming in? You need to put that to the side. You need to step into your queen of wands energy and get really confident and positive because look at, you have it coming in. The sun card is abundance, abundance in love, money, happiness, joy, travel, whatever it is that you want, right? And the wheel is turning in your favor. It's right around the corner. So get ready, get ready. Okay, so what did we have up here? We had the moon card, right? So this is divine timing. Your angels and spirit guides have been working on this. Eight of wands, two of pentacles, Two of Cups, the devil on the bottom. So yeah, the, I think that you've been, one of the things I'm going to say is that everything on the bottom is swords and the devil. Okay, so you have been kind of in your head about it. So the only thing I'm, I, I would suggest is that you start taking action, you know, like really getting out of your head you know, exercising, taking walks in nature, um, turning on the music, dancing, whatever it is that you have to do, like you need to get the body going and get out of your head because this action is coming in. You're going to get your communication very soon. And you have the two of cups here. Like once again, two of pentacles, it is your decision. If this is what you want, um, you know, it, in some ways, Maybe you need to take the action of, you know, maybe you have heard from this person, but you haven't responded. Um, so it's time to take action that way. But somehow when this all happens, you are going to have a decision to make. And it's about you getting really clear about what it is that you want. Because when this happens, I think it's going to happen quickly. And you are going to have like this window of opportunity. This person is going to want an answer. And um, I think, you know, they know what they want. And I think they're going to expect the same from you. Recharge. When the pace of life becomes too hectic, know to slow down, be mindful and go with the flow. And so, you know, I, I really think that there is something about being mindful, right? But there's also action here and it's about going with the flow. Like I don't resist it. Don't try to resist it too much. Allow this to come in because yin is about allowing, right? Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Marriage, uh, legal partnership, commitment, marital bond and societal contract. Yeah. Okay. So yes, there is marriage on the horizon or long-term commitment, whatever it is that you want. Really nice. And it is, it's right around the corner. Divine timing. I'm not surprised because we had the moon card there, right? And hesitation. Perception, red flags, delusion, perceptive. See through your own false beliefs, okay? And I think that that's about like getting too caught up in your head about it. Like just kind of opening your heart a little bit and listening to this person or, you know, being willing to share. I do think when they come in, they're going to be all blubbery and they're going to be sharing their emotions and i think that you need to be willing to be you know step into your empress energy and be nurturing and compassionate when this all happens because this is divine timing okay you have the marriage card and divine timing your angels your spirit guides have been working on this and you are just hesitant you're holding it back and it says past heartbreak broken trust afraid to move forward you're afraid to move forward, but I think, you know, everything on the table is showing you that, you know, this is a great connection. It is going to be different than it was in the past. Really nice, Sag. Okay, so let's see what the romance angels have for you. Express your love. Yes, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. And, you know, this is part of the action. Like when this person starts to, you know, blubber all over you about how much they love you, you know, don't sit there and, you know, not say anything. Go ahead and, you know, um, show, express your love. Show them what you, how you feel. 
Okay, let's get a couple of more. And Sag, if you are enjoying this reading, I would appreciate if you would like, share, and subscribe. Um, okay, playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Yeah, I think this is, you know, to me, this is kind of like that action that I've been talking about. It's not like you have to go out and be like a knight of swords kind of person, but, you know, turning on the music, dancing, being playful, you know, running in a meadow with butterflies, <laughs> whatever it is that you like to do, getting really playful and kind of out of your head about whatever has happened in the past. And I know that it was painful, but it's, it's kind of like spirit saying it's time to move away from that energy and bring in something else. Heart to heart conversations, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Yeah, the same message is just keeps coming out over and over again. So, and let your friends help you, you know, like talk about this with your friends. Um, let them, you know, help you through this. So let's get a love oracle card and then an angel message to finish it out. This is lovely energy. Lovely. Oh my goodness. Okay. So here's your love oracle card. Twin flames. Your passion ignites. And remember, what well, you had the didn't you have you had the you had a lot of wands here, right? And that's all about passion. Your passion is going to ignite you've been in that four of cups energy like oh yeah well whatever you know and um this person is going to come back they're they're going to lay their heart right at your feet and say please take me back and you're going to be like okay maybe <laughs> it's up to you you have free will courage dare to be different to make mistakes create for it is in creation that you exist in this world of dreams that stem from the eternal heart, you are one with all creation. All is possible. Go forth and be true to yourself, for it is only through being true to you that you can be true to others. And that is beautiful. Yeah, I think it's about, it really is, I think the message keeps coming out about, you know, going ahead and being willing to, you know, share what you're really feeling with this other person and allowing it to flow and go in whatever direction it is meant to go and not to have, you know, maybe such strict expectations of it all, just kind of, you know, making sure that it is um, what it is that you really want, right? And that it's in alignment with that. Very nice energy. Well, Sag, I'm going to leave it at that. And in, I do wish you lots of love and light in this situation and all your situations. Bye for now.